Guten Morgen, guten Tag, guten Abend. We will together download Python as well as various Python packages. It may be the case that different programs using Python on your computer depend on different versions of these Python packages. To accommodate this, we will also download something called a wrapper for virtual environments. Let us begin by downloading Python. Let's go to an internet browser and we will search for Python. P-Y-T-H-O-N. We're looking for the main Python website, python.org. I click on welcome to python.org. I hover over downloads and come to this gray box that shows the most recent release of Python. In this case, Python 3.11.2. And we download by clicking on the gray box, the most recent version of Python. Here, I'm gonna click show all downloads. You can also right click and say show in folder. It opens up the downloads folder where Python is downloaded. I'm going to double click to begin the installation. The first thing I want to do here is at the bottom, I want to click the box, check mark the box that says add python.exe to path. So I click this box. Once I've clicked this box, I'm going to hit install now to begin the installation. Setup was successful. Close, close the window, close. How can we be sure that Python installed correctly? Well, let's open up a command prompt and uh, start Python. So here in the search bar in the computer, I'm gonna type in command, C-O-M-M-A-N-D, and then push enter to open up the command prompt. I'm gonna type in the word Python. P-Y-T-H-O-N, P-Y-T-H-O-N, Python, enter. It says Python 3.11.2, and then three right pointing arrows. Let's type in, for example, two plus two, Python tells us four. All right, let's close out of this. Let's now download the wrapper for virtual environments. Opening up an internet browser, we're gonna search for virtual, V-I-R-T-U-A-L, environment, E-N-V-I-R-O-N-M-E-N-T, wrapper, W-R-A-P-P-E-R, windows, W-I-N-D-O-W-S, virtual, environment, wrapper, windows, enter. And I'm looking for the page that is P-Y-P-I, so virtual end wrapper, dat, dash win, from PYPI. This shows us how to install the virtual environment wrapper. So I'm gonna copy this, and now I'm gonna open up a command prompt again. So I'm gonna go back to the search bar in my computer, and this time I'm just gonna type in CMD, and it also brings up the command prompt, push enter. Now once I'm here, since I've copied that to the clipboard, I can just right click in this command prompt, and it'll bring up the line that we want to use to install the virtual environment wrapper. One could also simply type in the whole thing character by character, pip space install, so pip space install install virtual v-i-r-t-u-a-l e-n-v env wrapper w-r-a-p-p-e-r dash w-i-n virtual env wrapper dash win enter um, great. We are now going to create a virtual environment. The command for this is make virtual env. So mk, just mk, virtual, v-i-r-t-u-a-l, e-n-v. And then the name of our virtual environment. In this case, I'm going to call it cwatm with capital C, capital W, A-T, capital M. 
So mk virtual env space, the name of our virtual environment. Perfect. We now see on the left of the location of the directory location in round brackets, the name of our virtual environment. While we're here, let's install the package numpy, which will give us access to different mathematical functions and facilitate working with n-dimensional arrays. I'm going to type in pip space install space numpy, n-u-m-p-y, enter. Let us now install something called GDAO, a Python package that will facilitate creating, manipulating, and generally using spatial data. Let's close out of this command prompt. We won't be able to download GDAO directly with pip install. We'll first have to download something called a wheel. Um, let us search for GDAO. Let us search for Christoph, C-H-R-I-S-T-O-P-H, space, Windows, W-I-N-D-O-W-S, unofficial, U-N-O-F-F-I-C-I-A-L, binaries, B-I-N-A-R-I-E-S. We looked up Christoph, Windows, unofficial, binaries. Eventually, we just want to get to the page that says archived unofficial Windows binaries for Python extension packages. I click here. On this page, I'm going to look for GDAL. Control F, G D A L. I see GDAL highlighted here. I click. And now it shows me the different GDAL wheels for the different versions of Python. It's a little bit cryptic to read, but here we see 3.11. We are using Python 3.11 and AMD 64. We are using the 64-bit version of Python. It was the, the default one that was installed. If one has Python 3.10, for example, 64-bit version, one would come here to where it says 3.10 and then this one 64. So since we're using Python 3.11, 64-bit, we're going to take the one that says CP 3.11 AMD 64. I'm going to click this to begin the download. Great. I'm going to open up the folder where my GDAL wheel was downloaded. So I right click and I say show in folder. In my case, it is downloaded in the downloads folder. We're going to open up a command prompt inside of the downloads folder. A shortcut to do this is when we have the folder open, we're going to click on the address bar, which highlights the address, and we're going to type in CMD, CMD, and push enter. And this will open up a command prompt directly in the folder uh, we, have, we, have, we have opened and typed into the address bar. Now we can use pip install, and we will just refer to the GDAL wheel we just downloaded. I'm going to type in pip install space, and I'm going to type in just GDAL, and I'm going to push the tab button, which will complete the name as it looks for within this folder, something that starts with GDAL. You can also just type it in character by character or paste it in. So pip install gdal tab completes the name and now I push enter. Perfect. I had just installed it previously, um, but it is installed successfully here. Let's download a few more packages together. Ah, as we see here, I didn't activate the virtual environment before installing. If one isn't using many versions or many uh, programs that use different versions of packages, one could simply install all of these packages directly onto the computer. 
in this case, I want to install it using, um, using the virtual environment that we've created, CWADM. Every time we close a command prompt, we must reactivate the virtual environment. To activate the virtual environment with the wrapper we have used, we will type in work on and then the name of our virtual environment, CWATM. Great. Now for good practice, let's do the pip install gdoll within this virtual environment. Good, successfully installed GDAL. Let's download a few more packages. Um, SciPy, pip install SCIPY. Um, pip install netcdf4 which will allow us to work with netcdf4 files. pip install netcdf netcdf4. Enter. And one last package that will allow us to work with different data structures. Um, pandas. pip install p-a-n-d-a-s pandas. All right, that's all for now. Uh, bis zum nächsten Mal. Schönen Morgen, schönen Tag, schönen Abend, gute Nacht.